hi everyone and welcome welcome back to another video so as you can tell i'm testing some new audio please let me know if you like it or anything and sorry for some audio problems obviously it's the first time i'm using this and i'm just testing it out and so it might go a bit glitchy i don't know we'll see but like i said let me know if you like it but i thought in today's video it'd be fun to do my january tbr so one of my goals for 2024 is to actually have less books on my tbr so i've only chose seven because normally i go way too ambitious and hopefully i'll have more of a chance of getting to them all so let's just get right into the video so the first one we have is a lovely design by lauren asher this book now i wanted to read at the end of 2023 i just never got around to it which i'm obviously okay with but i feel like i'll have more time to enjoy it and actually read it because i felt like i was racing against time before so i am very excited for this i don't know much about it all that i really know is that it's kind of set in the same small town as the final offer but that is all i really know about it but obviously i am really looking forward to it because i loved the final offer so i'm obviously looking forward to this and have heard great things about this one then we have rogue by l kennedy so at the end of 2023 so in december i actually read misfit and yes i didn't like it but i do have this book and i do still want to read it so i might just listen to an audiobook so i can get through it but i don't think this is going to take me longer at all now i don't know if this continues oh it kind of so it's ben and cassie casey's story so i will be honest i don't really rem i remember fen i don't really remember his part of the story because i talked about it in a reading vlog but i would definitely say i'm not looking forward to it but i do want to get read because obviously i own it and it would be another book of my physical tbr then we have the long game by elena armas so i actually read up to 16 pages of this book in 2023 i never finished it not because i didn't like it i just kind of put it down and i completely forgot about it that i was reading it so i do want to pick it back up start fresh and then we'll see how it goes but when i was reading it obviously i didn't really get much of the story but it did seem really good and i was enjoying the writing style but i have heard amazing things about this and i think they've got a farm or something to do with the farm i'm not sure but i know there's animals involved if there's animals involved there's a high chance i'm going to love it because obviously i love animals then we have daisy hate so i read magnolia park in december as well and i rated that as three stars i did enjoy it but like did i love it as much as everyone else no like i understand why people love it so much though i just don't think it was for me there was too much like, miscommunication i just didn't really like the characters that much like i don't know they bothered me quite a bit but i like i said i know that's part and i want to continue the series because i've heard so many people say that it's better to continue because it gets better the more you get through the series so i have high hopes for this one and i know this is christian's and daisy's story so i've got big hopes for this one because i am really looking forward to their story as well then we have The Co-Worker by Freedom McFadden. So I have loved Freedom McFadden's books in the past and I read quite a few in 2023. So I really want to read this one. I've heard great things about it. And so I think it's about time that I picked it up and I did get it in physical copy. So I mean, I've got to read it now, you know, but I am not sure what this one is specifically about. I've just heard great things about it. And most of the time, I love Freedom McFadden's books. Like, I know if I want a good mystery thriller to go to a Freedom McFadden's like one of her books so i'm very excited to read this so we have the simple wilder by k.a tucker i've heard amazing things about this series and i know that people say it's better to read it at full time but i am really looking forward to it now now when it was full time in 2023 i've read i think one or two chapters of it and then i put it down because i knew it wasn't the right time and i didn't really have time to read it but i want to pick it back up again freshly and actually give it a proper read and i'm very excited for this i'm pretty sure it's about uh, this girl and she gets a call from her father or father or something and then she has to go back to a small town and then that is when she meets a guy you know the typical trope but I'm, i am very excited to pick it up and then finally we have nora goes off rip so this is just a nice quick one that i'm very excited for and i would definitely say i'm very excited for this one i haven't heard much about it but it does seem from from the back i've read the back a few times on here before and from the preface of it it's about this woman and her husband walks out and she's got two kids to look after and then she ends up was it fake dating oh no then she ends up like doing a movie and then she ends up hiring someone to play her husband and that person who plays her husband is the one she ends up falling up with or something like that it does sound really interesting definitely so different from what i normally read so i am very very excited to give this a go and like i said it's very short so i don't think it's going to take me long at all so these are all the books that i want to read in january i'm very excited to just have a fresh clean slate for the new year and 
I don't know I'm excited for it because I like just starting fresh with my reads I don't know I feel like I really want a better reading month this year because last year yes I read loads of books but I just I don't feel like I had a good time and I was in a lot of reading slumps and I just want to enjoy my reads a little bit better so thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all in my next video bye